personality and he can't speak too many words in English. Here's another electric personality in Shogun. Yeah, no doubt about it. And you know you talk about Mark Coleman yeah, being in the main yeah, event yeah. against Fedor Emelianenko. The rivalry yeah, is between yeah. Hammerhouse and Shooter Box and Shogun wanted to fight Mark Coleman tonight. Instead, he gets his teammate Kevin the Monster Randleman. I mean, from top to bottom, so many tremendous storylines. This is what separates Pride from everybody else. Yeah, the world's best are here. Now, we mentioned the rules. They're a little bit different because these bouts tonight are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. And there are some differences. Drake, take us through some of the key ones. Well, guys, underneath these rules, there will be three five-minute rounds. There are no title fights tonight, so there are only going to be three rounds. It's a 10-point must system, meaning that one of the competitors has to have 10 points, and the other one has to have nine, eight, seven. You guys get the point. Like boxing, yep. Exactly. Illegal actions will include these. Strikes to the groin, eyes and throat, any elbows of any kind. This is something different The guys aren't used to seeing in Nevada. We're not using any elbows. Knees or kicks to the head of a ground opponent if a man's on... His hands and knees, you can't touch him with your legs in any way. No biting, hair pulling, or headbutts. And really, that one rule about strikes to a grounded opponent does affect the shooter box fighter, Mauricio Shogunhua. But he's a professional. He'll be able to adjust. Greg, it's uh, going to be a night full of fistic fireworks, mixed martial arts. Welcome to the uh, team, my friend. And what a way to start your pride career here in Las Vegas. Well, what a great setting. You could not ask for a better setting than this ring, 20 feet by 20 feet, for the pride fighting championships tonight. Many of the fighters, as you've heard, are from the United States, and for them, it is a real treat, obviously, to not have to use your passport to get into a bout. They're here at home. They welcome the crowd. Although, as Mark the Hammer Coleman pointed out in the weigh-in yesterday before about a 1,000 fans, he heard those Fadar chants and kept wondering, guys, why the Russian is getting all the acclaim. Well, you, you mentioned it yourself, and, and Trig, you know it. He's humble. He is, he's got humility personified. And one thing about Fedor Emelianenko that makes him such a popular fighter is his ability to adapt to any style presented to him by his opponents. The guy, like Craig said, man or machine, cyborg or human. I, I got to tell you what, he's coming from Russia. I firmly believe he's a little machine and a little human. He's a little bit mixed in there at some point. But you guys look at this card. I mean, it's unbelievable. So many people making debuts. Greg, let's take it away, my man. All right. We are ready to begin. Let's go to our ring announcers, Kay Grant and Lenny Hart. You can see the Nevada State Athletic Commission, very popular here at a Pride <laughs> event. Maybe has something to do with the rules. Thomas and Max Center. 